Alright, so in today's video I want to talk a little bit about how to keep YouTube fun. And when I say fun, I mean so that it doesn't suck, basically. Because it doesn't have to be fun per se, so that you're really enjoying yourself, but so that you don't burn out. And I want to make this video right now because this week I have to make three videos. One reason is because I did not make, I did not pre-record a video for today and today's Monday and I want to hold on to publishing a video every Friday and Monday. So now today is Monday, so I have to make a video for today, which is going to be this one. And then I have to make a video for next Friday and Monday because I will be spending next Friday with my girlfriend doing all sorts of things, uh, preparing for her birthday party. And then next Monday, I think I'm going to be pretty busy as well. So I don't want to, I do not want to be in a situation where I have to, I absolutely have to record a video that specific day. And today I am exactly in that position. Today I absolutely have to record this video and I have to edit this video and I have to make a thumbnail for this video and I have to release this video. And it sucks. So that gets us into the first point that I want to make in this video. To keep YouTube, making YouTube videos, videos from not sucking, uh, one good thing that seems to work for me is that I pre-record my videos usually. The last bunch of videos that I've released on this channel, I have actually pre-recorded and scheduled the release. And that's the same thing I'm going to do this week. So today, tomorrow and the day after, I don't know if I can shoot multiple videos in one day. It might be a bit too draining, but... In any case, I am going to schedule the video for Friday and Monday, so I don't have to worry about them on Friday and Monday. And I don't have to have the pressure because I've already done it. So the way I see it is that <clears throat> if you want to be consistent and you want to enjoy it, if you make a video the day you're going to release it, then that is kind of the same thing as preparing for an exam in school or doing your homework the last night before you have to return the homework or before you attend the exam. It's kind of the same thing. It's kind of like procrastinating, if you ask me. And that's why it becomes really stressful. So I, I heavily recommend if someone is new in making videos on YouTube, you know, my only experience is making videos and dealing with the stresses and consequences of making videos. I don't have advice to give on how to make good videos and how to make good thumbnails and how to get subscribers because I only have 17 subscribers right now. But I do have, I've been doing this quite regularly, quite consistently, uh, what, since February or something. So I've been doing this quite consistently for a couple of months now and I have seen what it's like to face the stress, the stress of the schedule and the consistency and the stress of making quality content. And that actually gets me to the next point I wanted to mention in this one that I've been thinking about the quality a lot and the value. And the previous video that I recorded let me actually pull out the um, YouTube studio as I'm speaking so I can check. I believe my latest video still has like three views and no comments. Even from the people who usually comment on my video did not comment on that one when I published it. Uh, somebody has actually watched it now. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, one of the guys, one of the regulars on my channel, one of the best fucking people on YouTube, Mr. Vlad, has commented on the video. And he has commented that that's what I call the life of a true Viking. Yeah. Yeah, I love that guy. He's like, he's so fucking real. 
and inspiring when he lifts weights. Like he makes videos of lifting weights where he's lifting the kind of shit that literally might kill you and he doesn't even have the safety bars for the bench. Like I can't say that that's the smartest thing to do because it's actually dangerous, but like he's something else, dude. He quit alcohol, he quit porn, he's just killing it and he's living in a country that's at war. Just amazing dude, so Vladicted is the channel, so check it out if you're someone who doesn't know his channel, go check it out. Uh, anyway, so now I have four views on that video and he uh, commented as well. So I take that back, it's not three views and zero comments anymore. But in any case, I was gonna say about how that video, I just filmed, I just filmed myself doing random things. And then I compiled those random things into a video. And I didn't use music, I didn't speak over the video, talk over the video, I did nothing. That was a really low effort video to make, but it really got me thinking, because I made that video to fill in the gap of Friday, because I had no video for Friday, so I made that video. and. That was actually a very enjoyable experience because I was just filming my life and thinking about where to put the camera and how, like I did actually put some thought into filming parts of that video and then I compiled it you know edited some of the parts out and so on and so forth and then I published it and I actually enjoyed the process because the process was filming not thinking about YouTube algorithms. I was not making that video for anyone or anything. I made that video, I didn't even make it so that I can publish something on Friday. I was literally just filming those clips before. And then I realized I don't wanna make a separate video for Friday, so I'm gonna make those clips into a video. So that video is actually me just enjoying the filming of things. And that felt really good to make. And because I wasn't making it with anything particular in mind, you know, the, the thumbnail, the title, all those things, I did not really think, is this gonna do well? I didn't really care. And that's why when I saw that it has really bad views, I was like, whatever. And that took off a lot of the pressure. So that is pretty much the reason why I wanted to make this video today, uh, or got me the first idea for this video, for this topic, because I was thinking I should do these kinds of videos, those kinds of videos occasionally, because even if you want to grow your channel, which I do, I really want to grow, like I, don't want to have the loser mentality of thinking that, well, I mean, it's so difficult to grow a YouTube channel that it's probably not going to happen to me anyway, because it's so like, you have to get lucky and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to have that mentality. I want to have the mentality that I have a vision and that vision il involves me living a certain lifestyle in the countryside and filming that and making it into good videos and making it into a great channel. And I believe I can make that vision become reality. But even if you want to grow the channel and take it seriously, I still think you should make videos for fun because you need to find what you enjoy in the process because that's gonna, that is going to affect your whole channel and the whole future of your channel. So for example, I have this vision right now that I want to go into the forest nearby and I want to make again this a bit more cinematic video or at least a bit more cinematic intro to the video. And I have this vision of filming myself walking in the woods and filming that from different angles in 4K. I only have the phone camera, but you know, the 4K on the phone is still decent. So that's what I wanna do. And I am gonna do that next week because I have vacation next week. So next week's Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to film that and we will see what it's going to be like. But 
my sort of what I like about filming is to try to capture beautiful nature and that is going to affect the whole channel and how my videos are going to look because a lot of self-improvement people especially self-improvement content creators just make these talking head videos or workout videos in the gym or something but I'm I actually enjoy the most to film nature and just like beautiful shots so my vision actually is that once in the future when I have a better camera which by the way I might not buy a better camera until my YouTube channel grows enough I've been thinking about prioritizing things in my life in a smart manner so that when if I get growth enough then I'm actually going to put money into YouTube now I don't want to put money into this thing the only money I've made I've put into YouTube right now is I have the stand for my phone I have two different stands for my phone and the total cost was probably 60 euros so that's the only budget I have because this mic right here I bought this for basically gaming many years ago and for meetings at my work so the only budget I've used is under 100 euros and I don't want to change that if I don't make any money with YouTube I don't really want to put money into it so anyway that was a long-winded explanation to how I think we should try to figure out what we enjoy about making the videos and not just try to grind our asses off to make consistent videos in a manner that we don't really enjoy so yeah so that's one thing and another thing that I have thought about is I made this video about Hamza and the video is 50 minutes long and it was originally even longer because I never realized that reaction, reacting to a video where you involve clips from the original video, it actually might become really big. And it did become really big. And I edited that video like crazy. And it took so much time and effort that I seriously felt like this is not really what I enjoy doing. And this is not something I could do all the time. So that made me realize I should keep these talking head videos so that I film for about 15 minutes and then I edit and then I post and the whole process takes one to two hours. That's what I want to make it like. And then those nature cinematic videos that I want to make more in the future as well, in addition to these ones, those can take whatever time and however long but these ones that i want to make consistently these talking head videos i should make with a sort of blueprint to keep things easy enough and smooth enough so once again this video wasn't very structured i had no script something i might work on i don't know i like to just talk and some people like to actually listen to videos that are not scripted so I might keep it that way. But as I think about the blueprint of churning out videos consistently, in addition to the ones where I actually enjoy the making and the process of making those videos, as I think about the blueprint of how to keep, how to minimize the time and effort, but still make them good enough, valuable enough, I might try to come up with some kind of a list for example that I go through I've tried that before but it doesn't really help me to have a list of things because I still just end up talking about random shit just like now it's a flow of my thoughts I just it just flows out of my head and maybe I will just become better at this as I make more videos but who knows but I think that was pretty much everything I had to say for this one because now I am pretty much at the 15 minute mark so I'm gonna stick to that and I have to make two more videos this week I hope this provided if not value then entertainment maybe you relate but in any case if you watch this I thank you wholeheartedly because it means a lot as a starter super small youtuber every view every like every comment every subscription it's just it feels awesome 
and it's these small baby steps. YouTube is a marathon. You can't, if you run too fast and too long and too often, you're gonna get shin splints and then you can't run for a month at all. So it's the same with YouTube. Small steps, little by little, increase it as you learn and as your body or mind adapts to it and you understand yourself and the process better, then you can make more, maybe, or you can make higher quality as you learn the ropes. So I think I'm gonna shout some other people out later in other videos, because in this one, I only shouted out Vlad, but hey, he was the one who commented on the video that had no comments, it made me really happy. So <laughs> thanks Vlad, I really appreciate it. Uh, see you guys in the next one, bye bye.